Hi, I'm Mora and I make videos about traveling and living in Mexico. Right now, me and my two dogs are staying near Pascuaro in Michoacan and it's a great place to experience the Day of the Dead. This is my first Day of the Dead in Mexico and I'm very excited. Pascuaro is already very dressed up for this occasion. The whole week is a celebration and it starts with a week-long art market in the Plaza Grande which is a phenomenal place to shop for arts and crafts. There's three concentric rings around the plaza with everything you could find to buy for arts and crafts. And I love looking at everybody's work. There was many, many craftsmen and artisans working on their crafts right there. You could see them do it and ask them questions. They're just beautiful things to buy. Uh, the restaurants are all dressed up. It's just really beautiful and festive and it's gorgeous and so I spent a lot of time walking around the Plaza Grande. These kids are going to hit me up for a donation. They've got the line across the street so I can't pass. This is not the first time. And they get out their little bucket. <laughs> Hola! Una fotografía. Gracias. Ooh, scary. And then on the Night of the Dead, Noche de los Muertos, that was the big occasion. And so I went on my own and I made a plan to go and park in a neighborhood near the municipal cemetery, which is, as far as I know, not one of the more famous cemeteries. So I got a first glance of all the ofrendas and decorations and the beautiful candles and the families celebrating near their grave sites of their family members and lost loves. And it was very beautiful and touching. I, I went around twilight and then I found out that Pascuaro is not a big town. <laughs> and I could walk all the way to Plaza Grande for the evening, which was a total party scene. I've never seen it like that before. It's usually very tranquilo and beautiful and peaceful, but this was a party. The art market was still there, so you couldn't even recognize the plaza, but there was beautiful flowers everywhere, decorations, people having a good time. There was tons of fondas to eat. And of course there was a lot to drink. There was music, there was dancing, there was performances. It was a beautiful evening in Pascuaro and I've never seen so many foreigners there because clearly it's a special occasion in Pascuaro. It's become famous here and I was so pleased to be able to witness it. <laughs> I had my first pan del muerte, which is the bread of the dead, and it was delightful, still warm out of the oven, and delicate taste of anise with sweet bread. Mmm, it was good.
After that, uh, I took my landlady's advice and went to a cemetery right out of town called, I can't remember, and it was very beautiful. It was just dark and I just couldn't believe it. As soon as I saw over the wall of the cemetery, I had to take some pictures and video because it was so beautiful. These families go to a lot of trouble to offer their loved ones a respite from being dead and coming back to visit their families. They say the wind picks up and the monarchs come and the souls of the dead are invited back to party with their families. There's their favorite food and drink. There's beautiful flowers, there's candles, but not a solemn occasion. For me, it was a little strange because grief in the United States is usually a pretty private affair. You have a funeral or a memorial service and then, you know, you pretty much grieve in private. It's just kind of a private thing. But here it's a yearly thing where the dead and the loved ones are invited back to have a visit and it's just really beautiful. Although I felt a little intrusive, I did take some videos and everybody else was doing that as well. There were many family members there sitting by grave sites, just having a bite. And there was many restaurants open around the cemetery offering food and drink because it was a very festive occasion. Mexico is a culture that has created this unique and interesting way to face death and the departed. Mexico in general is very colorful, beautiful, loud, and sometimes spiritual. So when it comes to death in true Mexican style, Mexicans celebrate with food, drink, and music. Noche de los Muertos is a night where it is believed that the veil between the living world and the spirit world is dissolved and the departed can come back and visit families. Mexicans view it not as a day of sadness, but a day of celebration because their loved ones are coming back to celebrate with them. My only regret is that I didn't have a friend to go out with and celebrate, have a few drinks and get our faces painted, but that's really my own fault for being rather antisocial lately. But when I come back from my trip to the States, I plan to remedy that situation and meet some locals. I may not make a video next week because I'll be traveling without my computer, but I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching my video. See you later.